Python is no stranger to, well, strange behavior. And if you've been using it for long enough, you've probably run into something that just doesn't really make any sense. However, while researching for my Python 3.13 deprecations and removals video last week, I found something that could well be the weirdest thing I've come across in Python. In this video, we're gonna be talking about that weird behavior and we're also gonna be looking into how the example in the thumbnail is possible and why it's so weird. Of course, if you find this video helpful at any point, then consider leaving a like to let me know and maybe subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. And if you wanna see them before anyone else, you can become a member using the join button below as well. With all that out of the way, let's talk about what I think could well be the weirdest thing in Python. So I have three examples on the screen right now. The top one is the one in the thumbnail and it has this weird list comprehension thing, especially of whatever's going on here. Uh, the second one is a fun one uh, that I made up myself that basically looks as though it makes this weird string of characters return this number. And then the third one is just an example of the same bug that I'm going to be talking about or the same behavior that I'm going to be talking about used in a different context. And the main issue here that connects all three of these examples is that literals and especially numeric literals can be followed immediately by keywords without any white space and Python will just accept it. So if we were to do something like x equals five, and then if we did one, two, three, or X, I naturally went for the space there. It, it works just fine. And then one, two, three, and X also just works fine. And you get what you would expect if you were to do one, two, three, space, or X, and then space and X respectively. Uh, and these syntax warnings give you a little bit of a hint about what's going on. Uh, so if you ran this on your own, in Python 3.11 or greater, you would have gotten this warning. If you ran it in 3.10 or older, you wouldn't have. And that's when they sort of found out or realized that this behavior was a thing, uh, or at least they put a syntax warning in. It's been part of Python since at least Python 2.5, meaning it's been around, I think 2.5 is either 2005 or 2006. So it's been around for a long time. Uh, and it's only recently kind of come to people's uh, or semi recently kind of come to people's attention. And the reason I bring this up at all is because when researching the Python 3.13 deprecations and removals, uh, this was listed as a new deprecation for Python 3.13. So this behavior is officially deprecated now, which is good, but there was a whole discussion for ages about whether or not it was fine or not. Um, that you know, ultimately led to the uh, the functionality being deprecated, but there isn't a removal date as yet, meaning this is going to be in Python until at least Python 3.17, unless something changes. So now that we know uh, this base behavior, and I will say as well that this works on strings uh, as well. So if I were to do that, it works just fine. You don't get the syntax warning though, and we'll talk about why in a second. And this uh, bottom example here is just essentially the same thing. But if we were to run this, you could do an in there and it, it knows that a literal is split. But because of the way that in works and tuples work, you can actually leave out the white space on the other end as well. <laughs> and you can get this really weird and complicated looking example. But that is pretty much just an example of it working with different things. Uh, I'm going to talk about what makes these two particularly special and why you get the answers that you do. So in the top one, uh, we have uh, 0x underscore for, we'll say, x in 1, 2, 3. And this is weird because it's ambiguous. And there's another strategy here that's being used to make it look even weirder, this underscore syntax. Um, so for those that know about the underscore syntax and for those that know about hexadecimal not uh, notation, you'll know that 0x is the prefix for a hexadecimal number. And you'll know that in Python, these are represented as integer literals. Um, so if I were to do like 0x, 1, 2, 3, a, b, c, that is a hexadecimal number that that, uh, that then gets transformed into an integer number. But crucially, these hexadecimal numbers can have uh, letters in them because that's how hexadecimal works. And then that creates a bit of an ambiguity uh, and oh, and also these hexadecimal numbers, much like uh, integers. So if I do that, say, 
uh, can have underscores in them. So I can do uh, that if I wanted to. Um, and that probably gives you a hint about how exactly this is being processed. But there is an ambiguity here because is this 0x underscore 4x in 1, 2, 3 or 0x underscore f or x in 1, 2, 3? And the answer is this. Um, so it, it processes this as, as, a, as a literal and then it looks at or and then you get x uh, and then that's why it just returns that. But the F specifically is ambiguous because it's not it's not clear what this is. And that's why the syntax warning and the deprecation has been raised for numeric literals, but not other types of literals. So in this case down here, it's kind of clear what's going on. It's not really ambiguous. It's weird. It's not very pretty. You wouldn't want to actually do it in the real world, but you can read it in something like this and then again in something like this it's not immediately obvious what's going on uh, so just to prove this works if i were to do f uh, or x in one two three you get the syntax warning again but then you get the list with the number 15 in it if you were to do uh, one you would get 31 which is one of the other examples that was flying around and it doesn't actually matter what you put here so you can literally just put an empty list and it will do the same thing. You can put range uh, 50 and it will do exactly the same thing. Um, so everything after pretty much this point, everything highlighted isn't really necessary to rebuild this trick. This second one uses very much the same philosophy. I imagine a lot of you have probably worked out what's going on here. It again uses two separate tricks to make this work. The first of which being um, that you could create any word that ends in OR and has all hexadecimal letters in it previously and then it gets read like this. So this is actually 0x deck which itself is 3564 as an integer or dreams. And the reason why this works like this is because the OR statement, because this is always true, uh, this variable is never actually evaluated. So, you know, we don't define dreams ever. I can prove that there. But if we do this like this, we see it's not a problem. And that's because uh, the zero x deck is always truthy. And so Python doesn't even attempt to resolve that. So you could put anything there. You could put um, like mishaps, for example, and it would still return the same number because it's always just this that changes it. And changing these letters here are what changes that number. Uh, this was the best example I could come up with. Apparently, it's actually very difficult uh, to think of a word that works with this. If you do have any better ones, I do leave them in the comments because I want to see what you can come up with. It's worth noting as well uh, that code formatters will make this a bit redundant. Uh, so I was originally going to put this in examples.py file if I could spell. Still can't spell. Still can't spell. There we go. Uh, I was going to put the 0x day called dreams in there. Um, but black formats it out heavily. And then you also get the linting thing as well. So you're probably not going to run into this. But the reason there was so much discussion is because they actually tried to remove this and it broke stuff in the standard library. I don't know how or why, but someone had obviously adopted this. There was another issue I came across because I did go very much down a rabbit hole that was really angry about this, like really angry that a warning had been uh, maintained. They called it nonsense and everything. And that's, that is how you know that someone is really angry when they call something nonsense. Um, so yeah, surprisingly a divisive change um, <laughs> fixing this, but hey, there you go. Again, let me know in the comments if you can come up with anything better than this uh, for this trick. And also if you know anything else particularly weird about Python, then leave that in the comments below. This is probably tied the most weird thing I've come across and I will try and make a video about the other thing uh, fairly soon because that is very strange. Uh, but yeah, I'd like to hear your thoughts on this as well. And if you want to see all these videos earlier than everyone else, then consider becoming a member by hitting the join button below as well. This is normally the point where I plug one of my playlists, but I have no idea what series this is going to be in. So just watch anything I put on the end screen apparently. And I'll see you in the next one for whatever we do next.